everybody and welcome to my video. I hope that you're all doing well and hanging in there during this crazy time. I want to do a card for you guys. I am running a little bit behind this week getting my videos out. I apologize for that. I just have been um, figuring out what the new normal looks like right now. So today I am going to share with you a card that um, is, I followed a sketch, but I can't find the sketch I followed. And if you guys have been following along with any of the cards that I do that is following a sketch, you know that my cards never come out exactly like the sketch. So that could be why, because I'm probably looking for a sketch that looks like the card that ended up... I ended up making and it probably looks nothing like the sketch I chose. So choosing a sketch doesn't mean you have to follow it exactly. I always use it as a jumping off point. And so what I've done here is I've just taken some cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter and then I folded it at five and a half. My original cardstock you saw there, I don't know what happened to it. It was torn. I don't know. So then I'm using this designer paper. This is the pleased as punch designer paper. It is only available through the end of the month. So once that, once the end of the month comes, that paper won't be available. And it coordinates with several of our punches. So it coordinates with the under my umbrella um, punch. And then it um, coordinates with our heart punches. And um, it's really cute. So I've just taken that and I've used the raindrop side. And then I've attached it to Whisper White cardstock. And then I've put some fun foam on here. So I will add this part to the card and it's not quite, it doesn't quite go all the way to the top because I'm going to add some of this polka dot ribbon, which all of a sudden like totally came off my roll and I was like, I have no idea how that happened. This polka dot ribbon is really cute. It's white and so you can take our blends or the writer markers that we have or even your ink like an ink pad and an ink dauber or sponge, and you can color that ribbon, um, which is really cute. Then you can make it coordinate with whatever you want, which I really like that. It is a little bit difficult to tie a bow because the polka dots are actually felt polka dots and they can get snagged and make it a little bit hard for you to tie that bow or like open the ribbon up. But it is cute ribbon and then it's pretty sturdy. So I tied that to the very top of the card and then now I'm going to do my stamping and my coloring. So I have this piece right here, this Whisper White piece, that I'm going to do some stamping on and then I'll also do some stamping and cut some pieces out. So the first thing that I'm going to stamp here are the rain boots and this is the under my umbrella bundle it has these cute little rain boots in it. So I'm going to stamp that in memento black ink because that is the best ink to use when you are using your blends to color. It is safe to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that just kind of down on this piece on towards the bottom. We're going to add some other layering pieces. Um, to this piece and then we're also going to stamp our sentiment. So you can just pick any of the sentiments in the stamp set. It will work. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that in Memento Black ink just because it's the ink that I have out. So I'll add that to the top there. I love this font and mine didn't stamp down perfect but I'm not going to worry about it. It's handmade. It's not from Hallmark, so it's totally fine. Um, I do love the sentiments and the fonts used in um, this set. I think they're really beautiful. And so you can totally try to figure out how your punch works so that you can stamp both pieces and then punch it. I'm not good at that. So I just stamp it, and then you're going to see I'll color it and figure out how to punch it out kind of later. Um, I'm not great at lining those up or figuring it out, but there are ways to do it. So I stamped that and I didn't, it didn't stamp great. So I went ahead and stamped it again. And then I'm gonna color both of these items and I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. Those are the ones I'm using. Old Olive, Mango Melody, um, Flirty Flamingo, 
there's mango melody so that's what I'm gonna do these boots in and the first thing I do is I lay down the lightest color and after I colored this I wished I would have colored the very top and the very bottom maybe a different color like maybe black but it ended up being okay so I lay down the lightest color first and then I come back and I add the darker color on the edges and then you can see I go back and add the lighter color over all of that um, to give it some shading then I'm taking my smoky slate and I'm adding some to the bottom here and it is really dark so I take my color lifter which lightens that color it lifts the color actually and it spreads the color out a little bit so I do that and then I move on to the umbrella and the flower and you're gonna see I mess up a little bit with this purple posy I actually grabbed another purple thinking it was one of our lighter purples and I grab a really dark purple so you're gonna see that because here with the darker purple posy I just felt like it wasn't dark enough this purple posy is a really light color and I love the color but with this darker um, this is lovely lipstick I'm sorry I said flirty flamingo earlier and it's actually lovely lipstick this lovely lipstick is really a darker color and so the purple posy I felt like ended up being really light and so I ended up not liking it with this color combo so I did, again, just did the light first, and then I did the dark on the bottom and the top, and then I come back with the light and blend it together. And that gives me some of the shading. So here, I meant to grab Highland Heather, and I grabbed Blackberry Bliss. And I was thinking when I was coloring it, wow, this really looks like Blackberry Bliss. But you can see I go in with Purple Posy with the light and the dark, and it works really well. That's why I love using blends is you can really be creative and use the different colors together. But it did come out darker because I grabbed that Blackberry Bliss and I thought it was Highland Heather. So I go ahead and I just do these floral images and the lovely lipstick. And then I thought, well, I should use the Blackberry Bliss because at this point I realize I've used the wrong purple. So I went ahead and used Blackberry Bliss on the smaller flowers to pull that color in. And it did throw off my card a little bit. I think the Blackberry Bliss was a little too dark, but it's totally fine. Um, I just went with it. And then I grabbed my Wink Stella and added a little bit of shimmer to that. And anybody who places a $75 order or more with me this month will get a Wink Stella pen for free it is my ordering special this month so you can totally see that I it was fine like I ended up being able to punch it out just fine and then I fussy cut the flowers um, there at the end so I'm just gonna layer these two pieces together this is a really simple card has several layers um, moving up the card so you can see that the one larger layer and then there's a smaller layer and so this layer I just do flat with some snail adhesive. You could pop it up, but I wanted to also be able to pop up the umbrella. And I think I even pop up maybe the flowers. So here I'm going to use some dimensionals and add them to this umbrella. I think three of them will fit perfectly. And you can see the um, blends, they bleed through the white cardstock. So when you're coloring, make sure you color on top of something that you don't mind if it bleeds through. So I add the umbrella and I want some of that gray to show. And so I'm going to take my smoky slate marker and go back in and add a little bit more shading. Definitely the color lifter lightened it up quite a bit. So I add a little bit more and then I use that color lifter to do that same thing and it will lighten up after as it sits a little bit it lightens up even more so I added that and I probably should have added a little bit more shading right underneath the boots but that's okay and then I'll add this to the um, very corner I don't I don't pop it up actually so I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll be back later this week to share another project with you so much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos here are two other of my most recent videos I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful day